The Blue and Beyond eyewear from Cartier represents the quintessential nature of Cartier as a brand because it's got that fusion of the old with the new, classic with contemporary, fusing classic Cartier styling with modern, very advanced lens technology. So in today's video, I've brought you out on a beautiful winter's walk with me. It's nice, but it's cold. And I'm going to be reviewing and discussing the pros and cons of these two Blue and Beyond glasses, the 0270, which I'm wearing right now, and the 0220, which I have in my hand. I'm going to be comparing them, contrasting them, and generally I'm going to be reviewing Blue and Beyond technology and asking the main question, the fundamental question, of whether these can replace your everyday sunglasses. So, hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant at the Spectacle Factory. Not there today. I love bringing you outdoors to different environments and lucky to live in the part of England where we do have beautiful scenery and I like to make the most of it. And also because I like to approach eyewear in terms of what it can do for you in your everyday life. And that's why I like to bring glasses out into everyday environments. I love going out on walks and for me one of the main times that I need my sunglasses is if I'm out walking. But could you wear a pair of thousand dollar Cartier glasses out on a walk? Well the simple answer is yes because these lenses are as dark as any sunglasses if not darker in the right environment. That means you can be out on a sunny day and you essentially have a pair of sunglasses. But of course the cool thing about Blue and Beyond is that indoors it will be clear. So you also have a great pair of glasses with blue light filtering, really high blue light filtering actually, way better than the standard blue light filter lenses. And that makes these super versatile because you can wear them indoors, outdoors, you can wear them all day, even if you don't wear prescription glasses. Although these can be recreated in prescription. That said, the styling of this pair in particular is very luxurious and you might not feel comfortable walking on a typical outdoor day, you know, in a normal environment. It's, this one is definitely a little bit more flashy and a little bit more overstated, I would say. So comparing that for a second against the 220, I think this is a lot more understated, a lot more casual, a bit more refined and a bit more contemporary. And I think a frame like this, 100% you could wear as your general use sunglasses both from a style perspective and a technology perspective. Because I just think this is gonna go probably with more outfits. It's a little bit more, well, it's more subtle, isn't it? Compared to the gold. Although the beautiful finishing on that 0270 does make it a stunning piece of eyewear. I mean, it's gorgeously finished and that's, that's why Cartier is so renowned in the industry. It's not just a brand like many other brands that you've heard of. They are an amazing piece of eyewear design. Of course, there's less of that with the 0220 because it is mostly acetate. But you still have those gold embellishments in the corner which are a beautiful touch and do make these sunglasses still stand apart from the crowd. But having just that little bit of detail rather than the full gold throughout, I think definitely makes it eminently more wearable. So the answer, I mean the simple answer is yes, this doesn't need to be too long of a video because you could definitely wear these as your everyday sunglasses. The Blue and Beyond has its pros and cons, I guess. One of the only disadvantages I would say is that these won't go as dark as this behind the windshield, because the windshield does inhibit UV and it's UV that activates them. So for driving, you might prefer to have a dedicated pair of sunglasses just for those situations, but for general use, 100% you could wear these. So what is Blue and Beyond? It has a roughly 15 to 20% indoor residual tint that activates with UV up to 90% roughly when you're outdoors in really sunny conditions. And that's completed with a sapphire finish on the lens. So hence you see this bright blue bloom that the lenses have, which love it or hate it, it is definitely a style element. It definitely gives a lot of character to these sunglasses. Cartier make these frames with a plain flat gray sunglass lens and they look completely different. As much as I like it on the 0220, I love it on the 0270. It's just an amazing frame and we do get a lot more requests for this one than the 0220 which does look more like an ordinary sunglass this looks really special and if you want like a special pair of glasses that you can wear to a party for example because it'll be clear indoors but you can also wear to special events as sunglasses it's like what more could you ask for you're getting so much from these glasses it very much reminds me of the tank solar beat that was released last year so if you're not into watches the tank is a hugely iconic watch like 
one of the most iconic watches ever. It was designed almost 100 years ago and it has the edges, because it's quite rectangular, the edges resemble the tracks on a tank, a military tank. That design has endured for decades, almost a century I believe, maybe even slightly more. But last year Cartier reinvented it with the tank Solar Beat, which took that classic, almost you could say old fashioned, but it isn't old fashioned, it's timeless design, and modernised it with a solar powered movement, which hides underneath the markers on the watch, so you can't tell that it's a solar powered watch. That's an example of how Cartier aren't just standing still. So I managed to find a quiet, well, quietish spot, except for the birds, to reflect, ironically, on the Blue and Beyond technology and these Cartier frames which I've been reviewing today. And the question I posed at the start of this video is, could you use Blue and Beyond glasses as your general purpose sunglasses? I think the conclusion I would have to come to with that is, is yes. Compared to most sunglasses out there, these beat them hands down not just in terms of the sun protection in really bright light like I am right now but in moderate light conditions or conditions where the light is fluctuating a lens like this is going to adjust for you and actually that makes them quite superior to most sunglasses out there yes there is a little bit of a compromise when driving understood but they do go dark enough for a lot of people in a lot of conditions and maybe if driving is really important to you, perhaps consider a dedicated pair of driving sunglasses. But you could certainly wear these as your kind of casual and even formal general purpose sunglasses. The second thing is comparing the style of these two frames. And I think they are such completely different looks from one another that there is room for both in an eyewear wardrobe. I see the 0220 as being a little bit more understated, well, probably a lot more understated and definitely more casual. I think it suits the aesthetic of what I'm wearing today quite well. We do, of course, have those gold embellishments and let's be honest, they wouldn't be Cartier without the gold. So if you're interested in Cartier glasses, that's something that you're probably going to want in your eyewear. That said, there's no Cartier logo on the temples, that bit I do appreciate, and I don't think they're overly ostentatious. Yes, they are on the flashy side, and especially with that sapphire finish that's on the lenses. For me, I think if I was given the option of owning either of these two pairs, I would lean towards the 0270. I think the Aviator style is just a little bit more appealing to me as an individual, but ultimately it's going to come down to your personality, which one you think is best for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this little walk with me today, this exploration of what is probably the most technically advanced section of the Cartier eyewear line. Blue and Beyond is that fusion between the old and the new, the classic Cartier styling and the new technology. And for me, that exemplifies what Cartier is all about as a brand. You know, they're not stuck in the past, but they are traditional, they are classic. And that's what makes them cool, timeless and such a collector's item, you know, collector's covet Cartier like no other brand. So if you have enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet, and I'll see you back in the studio next week. Thanks guys, bye bye.